The question today is, is my problem serious? Now anybody in healthcare gets asked that question quite regularly and there are different interpretations to it. Usually most people are asking, have they got some kind of life-threatening pathology like cancer or a serious infection and so on. And happily, with back pain, 98% um, of the time the answer is no. However, I would suggest to you that if your back is out of condition, that is serious. Because the effects of having a back that's in trouble are, you don't sleep very well, you don't have good energy, um, your back is wearing far quicker, far more quickly than it would do if you were in, in good condition, your mood changes, your whole family notices you're in a bad mood, you get cranky, um, and various other things come, you get more injuries if you're playing sports, um, and those injuries take longer to heal, your, your whole body kind of goes into a, um, a less than perfect state which is not good. So. When you say to me, is it serious, to say, no, it's not serious in the sense of it's not cancer and so on, but it's very serious in the fact that it can spoil the quality of your life. I'm always saying life is short, life is precious. We should really take care of ourselves and live life to the full. You cannot do that without a healthy spine. Your spine needs to be in good condition. It astonishes me the way people live their lives working around their back problem, trying to learn how to live with it. They never go to the theatre to sit for two hours, they can't do that. They never drive more than a half an hour because they can't do that and so on. There's so many things and it's like their life is a little box shut down from the fun of the full joy of living. So I would say most cases the problem's not serious and not you're going to die from it but of course it can ruin the quality of your life. And many people get angry with their GPs about this. They go to the GP and the GP says oh don't worry it's not serious meaning you're not going to die and they get angry because they say well it is serious they're in pain. But the way they're trained, medical doctors are trained to look for life-threatening pathology is a priority. Once they find out you haven't got that, they're happy, they say, oh, it's okay, you haven't got it. The fact that you can't sleep, you're having grouse with your wife, you're, you're grouse with the children, and you can't do your job properly because your back is so sore, that still, in their world, is not serious. Of course it's serious, anybody with those problems is very serious. But what they mean is, you're not going to die. So I think, next time somebody asks you the question, is my back pain serious? Yes, it's always serious, but hopefully you won't die from it, but even better, get it sorted, get it cleared up, and live your life to the full. I was under Whips Cross, <clears throat> where you waited six months just for an appointment, and eventually I saw the spinal man, and he didn't want to do an operation because it was such a big one, and because of my age, and because of the troubles I've got that I have to take tablets for. Um, so he said they were injecting my spine and I asked him what were the injections for and he said that they were painkillers so I said well how long would that last and he said he didn't know so I said well I must tell you the truth I'm going to see a chiropractor so he said to me well <clears throat> but I'd already come here then and I thought I'd better be truthful and I said, the muscles had stopped working with my bowels and with my bladder. And I told him that after the second treatment, my bowels started to behave and my bladder started to behave. So he said, well, I'd like to see this man myself. <laughs> so we booked up uh, for a three-month um, course and... Um, I couldn't believe the way that Terry pulled me about, but oh, I was so happy. You don't know. I, I used to say to my husband, it's like the seven wonders of the world. I couldn't believe it. I can't believe that people don't know about this. I really mean this. And I didn't have to take any painkillers. And I'm now walking again. My walking sticks haven't been touched. And I'm coming now once a fortnight, um, um, and eventually it'll be once a month, and I'm very pleased. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you're experiencing persistent pain, then please contact us by calling 020 8508 9377. Remember, we're here to help. I'm Samantha. Until next time, thanks for listening.